Félix y aime. This French painter, classified amongst both Orientalist and Pre-Impressionist, acquired a reputation in his time, during the 19th century, for the classicism of his painting on Venice or Constantinople and his lighting inspired by Rembrandt. This seascape, in which he transcends reality in order to reveal his knowledge of aesthetics and his criteria of beauty, can be considered as the business side of the artist. Fallen into oblivion throughout art history, his atelier work could have crossed the avant-garde of contemporary art. It is through his sketchbooks, The Intimacy of a Draftsman, that you will rediscover this artist. From Bourgogne, his native region, to Venice or Martigues, his adoptive homelands from 1838 to 1890, he continuously moves about with a sketchbook. He studies patterns, captures the moment, the emotion, the light. As a constantly unsatisfied perfectionist, he comes and goes to the locations at different hours, sketches the details, the line, information used later in his atelier. The effort of the technique gives way to ease, the spontaneity of gesture. The mastering of his strokes frees his genius and allows Ziem to enter into the universe of his emotions. Well hidden, here and there, you hear fishermen from Naples, Istanbul, a camel grunting, or a boat moving on the Venetian lagoon. In his time, this could not be exhibited. Off topic for the academy. Nowadays, the humor of the detail, the attitude of this character, seem to be hugely modern. Everything is there. 20 years before Monet, 70 years before Pollock, the effectiveness of the stroke, which captures what is essential, the mixture of techniques. These sketchbooks are too fragile to be exposed. These intimate works reveal the pioneering work of Félix Ziem and participate in the birth of modern art. Can this influence be reassessed or studied by historians of art? Let's hope so.